Hey, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. Told you I'd be back with more video material. But like I always say, hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, it'll be more material coming. Hey, uh, today I really want to get into uh, today's topic is pretty much how to film a motorcycle club. If you're with one or if you're not with one, how to do it correctly and respectfully. This will take you a long way if you want to, if you're considering doing this. Or whatever, maybe you're with a club or maybe you're not with a club. I don't know what the case may be or whatever, you know what I'm saying, your story is. But, you know, I'm sure you heard my story in the last video. But uh, check this out, you know, this right here, some just some pointers. Either you can take it or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do with it. But, you know, like I always say, we're not getting no club business. It's just about me talking about filming motorcycle clubs, the correct way to do it, respectful way, the only way to do it. Well, um. Well, we are all aware of how it typically goes with motorcycle clubs. I mean, the GoPro and the handlebar things, much respect. You know, that's been going for a long time and it probably still go forever. But all this running up on bikers with a, a real video camera, actually filming them, you know what I'm saying, doing what they do or whatever. I mean, that's kind of like new. I mean, I don't know how new it is, but it's kind of new to where I'm at or whatever, you know. Some people are cool with it, some people aren't, you know, but you know, it's 2024 going into 2025. So things are getting in a different space, you know, and just you, with everything's in a different space now. I mean, I'm sure a lot of folks probably agree with that. The details that I'm going to disclose with you guys will help you just last, help you from getting your ass kicked or worse, you know, just pretty much keep you in good standing with everybody that you run across, you know, whenever they see you like, hey, you know, they'll, they'll greet you with a smile and a handshake, man. It won't be no animosity, man. If you just keep it, like I say, keep it respectful, man. And, you know, but uh, let me get into this, man. It's, I'm not going to take too much of your time. So I'll go through a few little pointers or whatever. Number one, when you're filming a motorcycle club, if you see the brothers or whoever it is in a group circle having a conversation, do not break that circle. Always stay on the outside of that circle. You never know what the conversation may be. Somebody might be in trouble or you don't know what it is, but pretty much it's, it's men speaking and you don't butt into that. If you're going to film that, stay on the outside, on the outskirts, film on the outside of it. Don't go in that circle, man. Just don't, you know, trust me. You'll last a lot longer if you don't. And, uh, you know, it's just a respect thing, man. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, bro, you never know what the damn conversation is going to be. So you always want to be mindful and respectful of that when you see a group of brothers in the circle and, and it looks cool and you want to film it. Just film the outside of it. Don't go in the circle, man. Just don't. Just, you know what I'm saying? There's just a rule that I don't know if it's obvious, but I'm I'm making it obvious. So if, you, if you're thinking about doing this, man, don't do that shit. You know, just stay on the outside, you know. You just like I like I said before, it's a respect thing, and that's what it's all about, man. In the motorcycle club world, just respect, bro. I mean, you'll last a lot longer doing that versus not having no respect. Just take my word on that one. Rule number two: Never record club business being talked about. Period. If you happen to catch some club business being recorded, if you happen to record club business, do not post the audio before you hit export on your video always check your audio make sure you do not have any club business you just you never know what you're capturing when you got that camera out man so always be mindful of that bro you know i don't care if you were a mc rc or wherever whoever you with never put the club business out on the internet or whatever i mean that's not your place to do you know i mean it's, it's really nobody's place to do to be putting club business out so always be mindful of that man you know if you hear two brothers talking man take the audio off. I don't care what you put in there, but don't post them talking about anything with this regard to that club. You know, it just, like I said before in the last thing, bro, it's just a respect thing, man. That's pretty much all that is, you know, I mean, I mean, so pretty much like, you know, I mean, you're going to eventually, man, you're going to run into somebody that's talking club business, man. You just got to know, I mean, me being around motorcycle clubs for a while now i know when somebody's talking club business so i kind of like steer clear from that anyway but it was a time when i didn't know you know but you know what i'm saying being being with the brothers i'm with they schooled me real good on that right there man so me being what i know or whatever i'm spreading it to y'all man like i say if you're aspiring to do this bro you know what i'm saying please take heed to what i'm saying dog you know because man you'll last a whole lot longer man like i said before it's all about a respect thing you know i mean 
your brothers may understand or whatever, they get your pass, but another club might not, bro. It'd probably be a serious issue, dog. If they see your video and you got their club business being talked about or that you done capture somebody speaking something that, that shouldn't have been on film. You know what I'm saying? So always be remind, you know what I'm saying, mindful of that before you hit export on your material, man. Cause it's detrimental. You don't need to be doing that, man. Just put music over. I don't give a damn if you put Kermit the Frog on it, man. Just don't record club business, bro. There's just a rule, a golden rule, man. If you're gonna be running up on bikers with a damn camera out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's the main thing, pretty much. When you approach bikers, man, they're gonna they're gonna ask you questions, man, you know, just straight up, you know, and 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 they're gonna take take for, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much they're going to assume you know not to record any club business, man. You know what I'm saying? Them speaking on anything regarding to their affiliated, they affiliated club or whatever, you know, just, so just be mindful of that, man. And like, it, it'll make you last a whole lot longer, bro, in, the, in this game, man. So just uh, pretty much, man, it's like common sense, bro. It's all, you know, I mean, shit, man. It just, you know, Oh uh, man, it's it just hard to put in hard hard to to put in words on this YouTube video, man. Pretty much, I mean, I can speak forever on that shit, but you know, I mean, I'm sure you get the point by now. So, uh, moving along, number three, recording other organizations. Now, your brothers that you know are probably cool as hell with the camera, but it's going to be some organizations, man, that aren't cool with that camera, man. It's going to be up to you to kind of, you know what I'm saying, read body language. And also, um, if you, if, before you even walk over there with the damn camera, you need to walk over there without the camera and ask those men, is it okay if you record them respectfully, man? You know, I mean, either they're going to say no or yeah, but they're going to ask questions, you know, f try to figure you out or whatever. And, you know, I mean, Anybody could sniff bullshit, so just be straightforward. Let them know exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it, man. More than likely, they probably won't have any problem with it, man. You know, but it's going to be some organizations that are just straight up off limits, man. Don't even approach them. Whoever you with should school you on those organizations. Wherever you at, I don't, you know, I'm in Texas, so, you know, enough been said. But I don't know where, whoever's watching this video, I don't know where you're at or whatever, but whoever, whatever organization you're with, bro, that's, they should school you on who is off limits with the camera, man. So don't even approach them, you know, but other organizations, you know, I mean, just ask before you hit record, you walk over there with the camera and shit, man. Like it's all about respect. Like I just said time and time out again, man, just be respectful on what you're doing and you'll last a lot longer. You know, I mean, just, you know, just talk to them, man. They're people too, you know, they ride bikes, but they shit, they're people first, you know, you know, I mean, so if you know how to talk to people, bro, man, you'll be all right, man. Just go over there, conversate with them without the camera. Then, you know, just say what you got to say and ask them, can you record them, man? More than likely, shit, they'd be cool with it, dog. You know, give them your YouTube link or wherever you posted that. I'm sure they're going to want to see the shit. So, you know, just be mindful of that, man. And, you know, more than likely, you won't have any, any hardships, man. If You know what I'm saying? Dealing with these motorcycle club organizations, you know. Well, uh. Well, I'm gonna get ready to close this thing out, man. I just, you know, I just want to, uh, if you're aspiring, man, to record motorcycle club organizations, man, just please take heed of some of this stuff. I said really all of it because, you know, it's, it's, it's vital, bro. You know, I'm not shooting this video for my health. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, much luck to you, bro. And like like I said, man, you know, the, you know, it, it's 2024 going to 2025, man. So, Stuff is shifting, man. You know, I'm I'm sure every, the whole world see that, bro. So, you know, people are more open, trying to get the organization. There's more eyes on it because a lot of folks are doing positive things out here, man. You know, I mean, you know, you know, I can't speak for everybody. I can just can speak for the, the brothers that I'm with. You know, you know, they. I mean, it just. I mean, so many doors open up, man. Whenever you can document positive stuff, you know the the whole world eventually will see it, you know, and the the right eyes that need to see it, they will see it, you know. But it really, it's not all about who see it, man. It's just about documenting stuff, bro. It's about making memories, man. You know, like if you have a barbecue or something, man. I mean, shit, you know, photos are cool too. But if you can go back a year from now and look at that, you know, you'd be like, man, you know, get to get to see people in motion or you know. Some of the brothers might pass away. Somebody you know might pass away, but damn, you got them on film, man. So you can always go back and look at the mannerism and all that kind of stuff. You can't do that for photos, you know? So that's how video has its place, if you ask me, in the motorcycle club world, man. You know, all 
all clubs love having a good time and making memories. You know, I'm sure every clubhouse in the United States got memories on the wall, which I mean photos or whatever. But if you can get some good video, man, for all the brothers to look at, man, I mean, it. I mean, that's golden, man. You just sit like two, three years from now, you go back and look at that stuff like, damn, I remember such and such, such and such, you know, when, you know what I'm saying, that day that happened, it's like right there in full motion for you. So, man, y'all be mindful of just being respectful, man. If you're going to come out there with that camera, bro, and always ask questions, man. You don't want to be the dumb guy that don't ask no damn question, think you know it all or whatever, and get beat, beat the fuck up or some stupid ass shit. It all could have been avoided if you just ask questions, man. Like, whoever you're, whoever you're running with, man, hopefully they can school you so it, Nothing like that will happen. It just you gotta do more listening than talking. You can't you can't listen if you're talking all the damn time. So yeah, I mean, so uh just ready to close this out, bro. Man, y'all hit the like button and subscribe, man. I appreciate y'all time. Appreciate y'all checking out my, my channel or whatever. And uh man, y'all keep liking my videos, man. Keep watching them, bro. Keep watching them, man. Share that shit, you know. I mean, we down there in Texas, man, you know, little small mom and pops club, you know, we doing our thing, man, you know respectfully like i always say it's it, it's all about respect you know what i'm saying no disrespect to nobody much love to everybody out there man all y'all man so to ghost i love your channel dog man i wish i could get some interviews like that on here bro but uh yeah man uh hey man y'all hold it down man and you know i guess do more riding and politicking bro do more riding and politicking bro because it's all about the ride, you know what I'm saying? From what I see, bro, it's all about getting out riding with your brothers, having a good time, you know? Of course, you got to do what you got to do, but ultimately, man, you join a motorcycle club, get on your damn bike and ride and have a good time. So, man, hey, man, to the next time, bro, y'all hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later, man. Salute.